I feel like it's not enough to build a satellite that'll be able to to look at other planets. I think we as we as humans, we as we as scientists, we as engineers need to be able to actually reach out and touch these places. Um, so that's my motivation. I want to be the person to actually go out and and touch these planets and be involved in in the next generation of explorers. My name is Kenneth Harris. I work at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center as a senior satellite engineer. Currently, I work on the Joint Polar Satellite System, JPSS. Uh, Former was on JWST as a mechanical engineer, uh, leading some integration for ISOM. And so one, one hand I was building satellites, like fabricating them. And now I work on actually flying satellites and downloading data. I got started uh, with my dad. My dad's an engineer here. Uh, I spent a lot of time with him, obviously, growing up. I actually struggled a lot with uh, math. I almost quit being an engineer. A university appointed mentor that I had in college or an advisor, he, he told me to, to, to stop to stop my pursuit of being an engineer just because I wasn't doing well in the class. So, you know, again, that's when I kind of doubled back to my dad, like, hey, I'm really facing a lot of adversity, really facing a lot of a lot of struggles with uh, this class and specifically with this professor. Uh, what do you think I should do? And, you know, he was really adamant about me just, just continuing in my pursuit to be an engineer and tell me he never quit. My name is Kenneth Harris. I'm a Goddard engineer, mechanical systems engineer for the Pace spacecraft. I currently been here over 31 years. Personally know the struggles that minorities have had going in the STEM fields because we weren't afforded the opportunities to some of the best education as you may get in some private schools or some of the better even public schools. So you have to work extra hard. So I was taught early on in my life the hard work. You know, you keep striving at it even though work is difficult, but just keep striving and persevere. There was actually a small, um, big, just a giant piece of foam that they took that they weren't using anymore in NASA that he left underneath his desk. So when I came from school and I was relatively young, I was like elementary, middle school. When I came from school, I'd obviously just take naps on that because I had to wait for my dad to be done at work before he went home for the day. And I specifically remember at 10 years old, I asked him, what would he, what would he like for Christmas? And he said, You can be home more. That just put a dagger through my heart because you want to succeed taking care of your family and him not understanding why I couldn't be home more. I'm extremely proud now because this came full circle that he went through different struggles and he understands the sacrifice that I had to make. Uh, so my dad really inspired me to be an engineer. Uh, definitely my 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 biggest role model. I would go around, see equipment. I would spend time in the office. I would just kind of hear the different languages and things they use around here. And that I feel like that um, instilled something in me. So I go around to schools and I actually talk to different individuals um, or different different younger students because I feel like it was instilled in me at a young age. And I realized not everyone's fortunate enough to have a dad that works at NASA. Um, or even a mom that works at NASA, but but for me, I was fortunate enough to have that constant role model and be exposed to these different people. So I really do go out to schools and I do different speaking events because I want I want to open a door for someone. Like there's never a student that I'll turn away and say, oh, you shouldn't be an engineer. Or, oh, you're not doing well in math. You shouldn't be an engineer. It's all about encouragement. It's all about constantly telling that they can do it. His life is parallel, has so many parallels to what I'm doing because he also bears my name. He went to school has the same major, and now he's working at the same place I'm working, so you can't, you can't ask for anything better. And he's contributing and doing great strides at NASA that now people are seeking after him. So I'm super elated that, you know, just makes it easy to be a parent and glad actually for me to be his dad.